normally I don't make it a part of my day to tune in to Fox News because I expect to hear hosts and their correspondents exchange diatribes, mostly um, about unhinged, next-level crazy conspiracy theories. It's cringeworthy uh, when I do. And today I will talk about Fox News host Harris Faulkner, who, who was interviewing Arizona Attorney General Mark uh, Brownovich. The conversation stems from Attorney General Merrick Garland's memo, which, if you recall, it directed the Justice Department agencies um, to hold meetings nationwide because of the constant criminal threats that have been put forth against school board personnel all across the country, especially their families as well. Uh, From Washington State to Georgia, there have been strong feelings about COVID-19 policies uh, that have driven most of the debate. But in some places, disagreements over schools' policies on race, history, and equality have been uh, just as vehement In one instance, demonstrators surrounded a school board member's car, prevented him from driving away. I'm sure you've seen that video. And after one Illinois school board meeting, police arrested an Illinois man for disorderly conduct and even aggravated a battery. So such displays of violence have also been directed to medical professional professionals across the country as well. And there are numerous news videos out there that actually attest to that. Um, the threats have gotten so bad that the National School Boards Association even asked the Biden administration for help and U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland fired off a Justice Department memo to focus on this very specific ongoing issue. And for the benefit of our listeners, our audio listeners, I'm going to read the contents of the memo. It is a little bit long, but I think it's important uh, for, because it adds to the discussion. And this is how it starts. In recent months, there have been a disturbing spike in harassment, intimidation, and threats of violence against school administrators, board members, teachers, and staff who participate in the vital work of running our nation's public schools. While spirited debate about policy matters is protected under our Constitution, that protection does not extend to threats of violence or efforts to intimidate individuals based on their views. So you noticed that he also added and emphasized that the protection does not extend to threats of violence. And so he wanted to be clear about that. That is the reason why this memo was sent out to all these other agencies. Furthermore, Garland also told the FBI to hold meetings across the country and bring together leaders at all levels of government to to discuss, and, and this is, quote, strategies for addressing threats against school administrators, school board members, teachers, and staff, and to open dedicated lines of communication for threat reporting assessment, and response, end quote. And then we now go back to uh, Brownovich. According to the Arizona official, Biden's Department of Justice crossed the line with a memo supposedly warning about threats to public officials. Conservatives then falsely claim that Attorney General Merrick Garland had labeled parents as domestic terrorists in the memo. That's funny. Um, 
let's let's watch this video interview between Mark Brownovich and Fox News host Harris Faulkner. And I'm going to go ahead and play the clip here for you, uh, so you can go ahead and 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 see see what I mean in regards to the conversation we're having now. Let me see here. Joe Biden and Merrick Garland essentially want to weaponize or continue to weaponize the Department of Justice. And just because parents are exercising their First Amendment rights to speak out against critical race theory or even vaccine mandates does not make them domestic terrorists. And if we allow the Biden administration to continue this, God forbid, you're going to end up with mom and pop at Gitmo. Think about how outrageous that is, Harris, to think about. That, that is outrageous. Could that really happen? We are living in a time where we all need to make sure that we are protecting our constitutional rights on every single level, from the local school board levels to the state and especially on the federal level. That's interesting because you say one leads to the other. That sounds like a slippery slope, which is how you got there. Uh, Mark Brnovich, thank you for being in focus. Yes. Major turbulence. Well, um, it's, a, it's a ridiculous. Uh, those are ridiculous claims. And I can't believe that, uh, that they're actually having a conversation about that. So, Branovich claims that Joe Biden and Merrick Garland essentially want to weaponize the Department of Justice. And just because parents are exercising their First Amendment rights to speak out against critical race theory or even vaccine mandate, mandates does not make them domestic terrorists. So, furthermore, he sounds the alarm that if we allow the Biden administration to continue this trend, the worst case scenario that may arise from all of that is that we end up with our moms and pops being carted off or shipped off to Gitmo. And apparently that's, that's a real eventuality for these individuals they actually pretty much they actually entertain the idea in this video but what Brownovich fails to realize or maybe he realizes the contents of his statements are, are truly stupid and perhaps he knows that this that this interview is from Fox so he knows he won't get fact checked uh, he knows that he won't be questioned uh, on 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 whatever he's saying. And what this is, is that, it, is that the memo wasn't derived to limit our constitutional rights to freedom of speech or protest at school board meetings. That wasn't the purpose of the memo, and that is why I emphasize the last two lines where it delineates that point. In fact, Justice Department spokesman Wynne Hornbuckle said that nothing in Garland's memo amounted to, quote, an effort to silence those with particular views about COVID-related policies, school curricula, or other topics of public discussion. The department's efforts are about rooting out criminal threats of violence, not about any particular ideology, end quote. So therefore, I have trouble with Mark Brownovich's criticism of Garland's memo and the actions behind that, particularly because Brownovich does not acknowledge that it is him and other Republicans who have weaponized their unhinged space as it is was false misinformation from the very beginning. Their constituents are fully on board with the lies, with the misinformation, with the treachery and corruption. So what is at stake here is parents from the right are actually threatening the lives of school officials and their families. So the Justice Department has every right in this case or in these cases to intervene to investigate when threats are being directed the silly argument coming from Brownovich and the rest of the republicans about the parents rights being denied is completely false 
and that it is also misleading. Hello all, my name is Rene Hinojosa. I am the host of Political Buzz. Uh, thank you very much for visiting my uh, channel. Also, uh, in the near, very near future, I'm going to have a Patreon account. And if you can, please contribute whatever amount you can. Thank you for watching.